there is concern over the, over the safety of drinking water in part of Trumpelo County. This comes after a frac sand mine near Independence was shut down and is now being investigated for three different violations that go against its permit with the county. News 8's Kyle Dempsey joins us now with more on this story. Well, one of the violations refers to a dangerous chemical that may have gotten into the soil. Polyacrylamide is used to wash frac sand and it contains the chemical acrylamide, which studies have linked to cancer. The Guza mine in Trempolo County is allowed to use polyacrylamide in its settling ponds, but the pond must be lined with concrete. During an investigation last week at the mine, Trempolo County officials discovered two ponds did not have that concrete. Now the neighbors of the mine are concerned their drinking water is contaminated. The Guza mine is about four miles south of the city of Independence, a city with many people calling their county health department lately. Basically, we, we received phone calls with citizens being concerned about the drinking water. County Health Director Sherry Rhoda says there's no proof yet chemicals have contaminated the water. We don't know that anything got in there. We don't have any proof that any that there's been any spill or any leakage or anything. But the county is encouraging folks that are concerned to test their water. To see whether or not there is anything abnormal, the best way to know is to test. Rhoda says there is no immediate danger to the public. The county is currently investigating and working with water experts to create some sort of plan. The best information for us is if anybody does any testing and we find something. So that would be part of the investigation is the community members who are doing this and we get those reports. Rhoda says the biggest impact will be people with wells. Those with city water should not be affected. The city is mandated by law to test the water. So city water is always tested by the city. This would be people who are have wells, private wells, that we would encourage them to do the testing. The county health department says it could take months to years for anything to end up in the aquifer. And the topic of frac sand is a very controversial one in Tremplow County, so much so that nearly everyone I spoke with today in Independence said they didn't want to get involved. Calls to the mine owners and the company Cameron Rail Site were also unanswered today as well. All right, thanks a lot, Kyle. If you would like a testing kit, they are available at the Trempolo County UW Extension Office in Whitehall. Kits can cost up to $50, and there is no timeline set for either investigation.